So I was just wondering if you're postmenopausal and not on HRT, how you work on hormones. I know you mentioned about following circadian rhythms, but just wondering how they fit in with female hormones. Okay, so Kirsty, that's a really good question. Thank you for asking it. So basically, if you're not taking hormones and you're postmenopausal, then you no longer have the infradium rhythm that a woman would have been having during her cycle. So what that means is that you will obviously still be having energy, mood, focus fluctuations. We all know that, but it isn't due to your cycle. So it's not because the estrogen's low or you're on your period, so all the hormones are low or the progesterone's dropping. So that is when I would advise looking at the circadian rhythm more. So what that consists of, like in the course, it's basically the energy over the 24 hours, which does affect women, but it does affect men more. This is the advice I'd give to someone on the pill as well, because they're not having the natural hormonal fluctuations. Now, some women, even though they're not having a period or they're not having a natural period if on the pill, they want to follow the, the female type of eating and the patterns because it makes them feel more in tune with the feminine side of their body. And I'm absolutely all for that. So if that makes you feel like, okay, I'm going to start on the first of each month. And for the first week, I'm going to follow the pattern. Like if I was in the first week of my cycle, the second week, I'm going to use that as my energy boosting week. So I'm going to have more greens and do more active exercise. The third week, I'm going to step it down a bit, have some more carbs and, and do more of the sort of strength exercising. And then the last week, I'm going to just be more relaxed and do yoga and things. That's absolutely fine. You can follow that pattern. But if you wanted to track your energy in the sort of male energy track over the 24 hours, and then you would see, well, this is when my energy peaks. I'm really good at seven in the morning, say. And then by four o'clock, I'm flagging a bit. Then you could tune your activities around that so you could go I'm going to do more of my active activities in the morning I'm going to do less in the evening you could also then with the eating go I'm going to be more protein and sort of good fat driven breakfast and lunch and then when I am feeling a bit more relaxed in the evening I'm going to go with it and then have more carbohydrates so I hope that clarifies that a little bit I also had a question from Jill that was very similar, but talking about, well, what do you do if you are on hormones? And the same thing would apply. You're not really having, if you're taking HRT, you're not really having the highs and lows of the cycle like you would be having a, on normal menstrual, menstrual cycle. So your hormones are pretty steady, I hope, <laughs> if I've got it right. <laughs> so if not, so we have to talk again. So if things are steady, then you can either for, follow the more circadian rhythm and it's different for everyone. You know, some people might feel that they're very energized mid afternoon to evening, which obviously isn't good if it's too late in the evening, but you know, you can modify your activities around that. If I give you my example, I'm not overly super energetic first thing in the morning. So I try not to do like my exercise first thing in the morning. I try and do it a bit later in the day when I have a bit more exercise. There isn't a right or wrong, but it's the most important thing is, is about getting in tune with your system. So if you can fit, track your energy throughout the day, then that would be really helpful. You can modify what you eat at different times of the day. So I know for myself, on a normal working day, I try not to have any carbohydrates because I know I get a slump afterwards and then I can't give my best energy for my work. So I'll go, right, I'm going to stick with smaller protein meals like green smoothies, some healthy fats. So, you know, I might make some boiled eggs with like some oil on it, or, you know, a little bit of olive oil with it and some spices and flavors and things. And then that was going to keep me better than if I have a sandwich, for example. I love a sandwich, but I'm not going to feel very energized after. I'm going to feel really slumpy. I'm going to need coffee and I'm a bit tired. So I've learned that over numerous years of just eating sandwiches for lunch and I now know how to manage my energy from that perspective so I hope that helps a little bit so yes like I said if you follow the four week four weekly pattern if you want to do that that's absolutely fine and if you take a break from your hormones for five days you could use that as the period and then follow the cycle the rest of the time